an aircraft flies between two radio beacons a and b which are 100 meters apart so that it is always 40 kilometers closer to a than to b choose a suitable coordinate system write down the equation that describes the path of the aircraft now this is an application of conic section and or you can also take this as an example of locus of a point okay okay so yeah i've drawn this figure i've done this example so that i don't waste time in making mistakes okay now this is an aircraft it's flying at a path uh, so I've taken drawn X and Y axis. So point A is 50 comma 0 and B is minus 50 comma 0. So the distance between A and B, uh, which are the radio stations or radio beacons, are 100 kilometers apart. Now P is an arbitrary point anyway. And uh, the characteristics is P is always closer uh, Sorry, A is closer to P than B by 40 kilometers. So how can we write that? So this is how we can write. We can say that means it's always closer to A than B means the distance PA minus PB is 40. Or this could also be written as, if you want, uh, PA is PB of 40 plus PB. They are one and the same statement okay okay now what is pa now pa is p is an arbitrary point so pa using distance formula how can you write pa you can write pa uh, and pb like this so let me go up so using the distance formula it is x take away minus 50 which is x plus 50 squared plus y squared because y minus 0 is y uh, minus PB the same X minus 50 squared plus Y squared is equal to 40 so the next step I'm going to move this to the right hand side or you're adding this to both the side whichever way you understand so this is the next step I hope you understand so this has gone up to the other step what should we do next I want to get rid of this radical or square root so the only thing that you can do is squaring both sides so the next step is squaring both sides. So when you square both sides, the square root will be removed. And this using perfect square is 1600 plus 80 times this whole thing plus the square of this will, the square root will be removed. Okay. So yeah, now expanding the left hand side is x squared plus 100x plus 2500 plus y squared is equal to this. And again, this is the expansion of this. So plus x squared, plus x squared from both sides, 2500, 2500 from both sides, y squared gets cancelled. So what's left over? Left over is 100x on the left hand side, and this whole thing minus 100x on the right hand side. Okay, so now what we are doing is you, you have to add, I'm moving this. I'm moving this to this side and also moving this to the left hand side or in other words you are adding 100x to this side and taking away 1600 from this side so so if you take away 1600 from this side you have to take away 1600 from this side so this is plus 100x minus 1600 okay so what happens uh, this is 200x minus 1600 is 80 times this whole thing okay now what I've done is I've divided each by 40 to make this a bit smaller because 40 goes in 200 1600 and, and 80 so this simplifies to 5x minus 40 is equal to 2 times this again you have to square both sides if you square both sides perfect square is 5x squared is 25x squared then uh, this is uh, you can do this yourself uh, 5x minus uh, what I've done is you have squared this and I also squared this okay I hope this is clear four times and the square root will be removed okay so what happens next next is simple expansion is this expands to 
this again now this is simple algebra it's expansion so if you exp this is remaining the same and if you expand with 4 you'll get this so minus 400 and minus 400 x from both sides will get cancelled so what remains is 25 x squared plus 1600 is 4 x squared plus 4 y squared plus 10,000 okay we're almost there so now you're taking away 4x from this side 4y from this side and 1600 from this side so this and this gets cancelled this and this gets cancelled so what remains on the left hand side is 21x squared minus 4y squared is 8400 the next step is dividing by 8400 so if you divide each by 8400 you get x squared over 400 minus y squared over 2100 is equal to 1. And this writing in the standard form of a hyperbola, this is nothing but the equation of a hyperbola. So let's, I'll graph this to explain. Uh, so let me first uh, save square root of 2100 as a. So square root of 2100 is this big number. I'm saving that as letter say b there is b this is b so my calculator remembers this is b you okay, now go to your conic section if you have a graphic calculator uh, and go to hyperbola hyperbola is your a is 20 so i'll type in 20 there and my b is so alpha b is that number so i'll put this as zero and uh, draw now this is the hyperbola so we are interested in this branch okay so let us confirm the, oops, uh, draw i didn't want the asymptote g sol and focus these are the two points the radio stations are the focus of the of the part of the aircraft so this is 50 and the other beacon is at minus 50. so what's the vertex the vertex is 20 and minus 20 so yeah if you want to understand this so if you draw the graph this is a hyperbola the path of the flight is somewhat like this is going somewhat like this okay i'm not perfect in drawing so this point this point is 20. so this distance just to explain so this distance is 30 so this point, this arbitrary point, if suppose this comes here, this is a point. So this is a P and so this is Q. This is a, again a point on this part of the flight. So here Q, QA is 30. I hope you can see. QA is 30 and QB is 70. QB is 70. And the distance between or uh, the difference between the distances 40 uh, that's always maintained so if you the part of the flight is this hyperbolic path which goes like this and when it comes to uh, this vertex it's exactly 40 okay that's the closest that you can come to a and b